Hi everyone. So today I'm here in the office and I've been testing the new interface for Microsoft Teams Room for Windows, which has been introduced in version 4.16. So when you look at the screens, you'll know if you're used to seeing what the MTR for Android interface looks like, you'll see that the Windows interface has been changed now to be much more in line with what the Android system looks like. You get a similar sort of calendar up here on the screen and the touch panel shows similar buttons to what you get on the Android system. At the moment, it's worth noting this is an option to enable this interface. So you have to use the, you have to go onto the Windows half of the machine and use the XML file to enable this interface. In time though, there will come a point where this is the default interface and to go back to the previous interface, you'd have to use the XML to revert. Um, and at that time, any, any user guides that you've got in your meeting rooms or anything like that would have to be updated to fall in line with, with the new interface. So if I just come over here to the panel and we just have a little look. Um, so one thing that's interesting is we now get a join with meeting ID button right here on the front of the panel. So now that Teams has introduced being able to join by meeting ID, you can get that from your meeting invite, push the button and dial straight in, which is a really, it's a, it's a much better way of being able to join a meeting than what we had previously. I can start a meeting, I can call people direct, I can share here locally in the room and I get an option telling me that, you know, if I'm if I've, if I've got my company device with me, I can cast up to the system, for example, if I'm in the same room on the same network, or if I've got a HDMI cable, I can plug that in and that'll start sharing for me. I can have an option for room controls. So the system I've got here is a Lenovo ThinkSmart Core system. So you can see this is the Lenovo touch panel. Um, but we have here under the room controls option, I've got, because I've got a Poly Studio USB installed in this room, I've got the poly camera control app. So I've got my room controls button that I can bring up. And again, I can do that from within a call. And then I've got my more options. If I jump into a call, I don't have anyone on the far end at the moment. But again, you can see once you're in a call, it's a pretty similar interface to what you might be used to seeing. But if I come here to my gallery view, I now have an option here to show chat. And what that'll do is on screen, it'll put my chat messages from the meeting down the right hand side which that's, that's a great feature to see that being added. I could go and enable front row and things like that. I've got my, I can raise my hand, I can do my reactions and things like that. And if I click the three dots, again, I can get into my room controls. So any extra controls that I might have installed, I can get to those there and get that set up. Another thing that is just worth noting when I come down here to select a theme, what I've got at the moment is a standard, the wallpaper that is one of the existing wallpapers from MTR for Android that's been ported over to the Windows devices. But I can also add my custom wallpaper and what you'll hopefully see from the touch panel here is the width of the wallpaper is the width of a dual screen wallpaper. It's always the dual screen wallpaper that you load into the system. And you can see it shows the calendar way over on the right. If I hit save and exit, what you'll get here now is my custom ISDM wallpaper has been loaded onto the system. So I've got my logo here, I've got my background, and I can still see the calendar. If this were a dual screen system, then what happens is it's the exact same wallpaper, but that calendar gets moved way over to the other side of the right hand screen. That Things are in a different place to where they were on the previous wallpaper. The, if I'd have had the logo here on the wallpaper from the previous layout, the clock would have been right smack over my logo. So when you move to the new interface, if you have a custom wallpaper, you're gonna have to redo that custom wallpaper and you do have to re-upload it as well on the interface. Uh, you'll notice that the panel here has gone this kind of blue color. At the moment, there's no way once you put your custom wallpaper on to change what's going on on the touch panel here. But again, I have a feeling that's something that will, that will be coming in time. So that is, that's the new interface that's been newly added with version 4.16.
for the MTR4 Windows app. Um, if you want to give that a look, if you're interested in trying it out in your spaces, if you just want a bit of advice on how to enable it, feel free to reach out and we'll see what we can do.